Welcome to another edition of Tuscaloosa Talks, and this is certainly more of a Christmas edition because this year we're celebrating the 11th anniversary of what was Holidays on the River, which is now Holidays on the Plaza, and the Tuscaloosa One Place Tinsel Trail. Uh, that tradition has now come together here at Government Plaza, and I'm very excited today. I have Ashley with Tuscaloosa One Place and Nicole with, with our Arts and Entertainment Department who is overseeing uh, Holidays at the Plaza. So let me start first by talking about the Tinsel Trail okay. and 10th anniversary 10th the, anniversary 10th yes, anniversary sir. of the Tinsel Trail it's really become one of Tuscaloosa's most beloved holiday season events talk about what it means to Tuscaloosa one place which ultimately what does that mean to the people that you serve every day so Tuscaloosa one place is a family resource center and we try to provide as many services as we can wraparound services to take care of family needs so we have a wide variety of programs including after school school social work uh, parenting, home visitation, relationship education, workforce development, you name it, we, we try to address it for our local families. And what Tinsel Trail means not only to our programs, it supplements things that grants don't necessarily cover, but what it means to our whole community this holiday season is just mind-boggling at this point to have seen it come as far as it has in the last 10 years. Well, I was just out there just a few minutes ago, and it was amazing to see how excited people were mm -hmm. about doing this how it truly has become a tradition here in Tuscaloosa. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that that tradition is about helping others, of serving something greater than ourselves. Um, we're going to come back to Tuscaloosa one place, but Nicole, uh, this is our 11th year of doing this. We started out at, at the old Queen City Pool, which is now the Transportation Museum. By the way, I learned to swim at the Queen City Pool. Um, so it shows you how old I am. But um, it's really evolved into something with ice skating. And I remember the first time that our former arts and entertainment director, Wendy Riggs, came to me with this idea of, hey, we need an ice skating rink. And I, my first question was, you do realize we are in Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's been hugely successful. Talk about why it's been successful and what it takes to put something like this on. Yeah, I think, you know, ice skating, like you said, in Alabama, it's not something people would normally think you'd be able to do around here. And it just is a great community event to bring some Christmas cheer to the citizens. And especially with it being downtown right here in the middle of downtown Tuscaloosa, um, it's just more accessible to everybody. You can go out to eat and then just walk right over and go ice skating and it's just a little winter wonderland in the middle of our city. Now how many people last year do did uh, went through the ice skating week or, or went ice skating? Yeah uh, we had about a 68 percent increase in skaters. We would have sometimes 600 a day um, and we estimate about 10,000 skaters came through last season. That is really cool and that you can again do that here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Yes. So for Tuscaloosa One Place, um, we talk about grant matches and why that's important. I think most people think that when you get a grant, there's nothing that has to come from the entity itself. We certainly right. understand that as well. Talk about the need for the local match and why that's important for the program. Well, so and right. even if it's, you know, local match is a requirement for some, but also there are things that grants provide and they do a very good job of providing for our programs but there are things that we know would make those programs more successful that are not funded through that grant. So for example, after school requires a parent night, mm -hmm. but they don't cover the cost of food. And we know that it's an after hours event that you know, it's gonna be very difficult for families to navigate both dinner and attending that event. So it's supplement, and that's just one of about a dozen examples I could give you of how our general fund supplements the things that we try to do to make sure that we are taking the best care of the families that we can. What would be the story you'd want everyone who has put a tree up, uh, everyone who comes out here and takes their family through, what is the story you would like to convey to them about why Tuscaloosa One Place needs all of our investment? Oh man, that's a that's a great question. It's um, hard hitting journalism it here is, on Tuscaloosa Talks. I'm, I'm ready for it. <laughs> I think it's hard for me to talk about this honestly without getting a little bit emotional. We have met some truly wonderful families. Um, I've been with the agency for over eight years at this point, involved with Tinsel Trail the entire time, uh, and to see the impact, um, life changing impact that we have both immediate and long term. I was at a speaking event earlier this year, and there was a woman who came up to me and she said, I, you know, I, I went to one place for resources maybe 13 years ago. And at the time she was living in her car with her children. Mm -hmm. She didn't have a job. She had no resources and enrolled in our workforce development program at that time and got connected. She's now a nurse. Her kids are doing beautifully. Um, her family is thriving and 
that's that's the impact. You know, not many people get the opportunity to work in a profession long enough to see that long term impact mm -hmm. and hear those stories. And that's when I was very lucky to be able to hear at that engagement. Well, I want you to know this is just not empty applause. And during my 17 years of working for the city of Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa One Place has always been an agency that that when we fund it, we know it's going to deliver the high quality of services to the people of Tuscaloosa. Thank and, you. And that's why we were excited about this partnership of having the Tinsel Trail wrapped into you know holidays on the river holidays now in the plaza it's I mean, great isn't it oh it's, it's so cool fantastic it it's is. a great it it's beautiful partnership you know and and I, I say this a lot because it still actually hits me um you know my my i grew i was born and raised here and you know two places you never went was downtown in the river that's right and now you think about the vibrancy of the city and they're founded in our downtown mm -hmm. and, and riverfront uh, where we we transferred from for this event and so talking about putting on this event logistically this is not easy and and the city uh, bears the entire burden of that cost talk about what it takes to put an ice skating rink together it's more than just having ice out there it is yes. a lot that goes into it talk a little yes. bit about that there is a lot of manpower and long hours that Matt Jones Barry Franklin Jeremy Bushy with the amp are putting in to build this ice rink and along with other departments facilities maintenance ESDs out there every day helping us get it together so you know it takes weeks of them building the putting up the platform and then laying out all these hundreds of coils you see that we eventually run the glycol through to make the ice and you know it's definitely it takes a village and you know all the cities coming together to make it happen well uh, normally once or twice a week uh, there's something uh, a meeting I need to go to at the county courthouse and so I, I cut across government plaza and the last few weeks I've really just been amazed to see our, our team members out there working hard and the thing that I really find exciting is that that you know they're excited to do it and you want people to feel like, and certainly I hope that everyone feels that we're serving something greater than ourselves. And to see our, our uh, you know, our team members out there working hard, making certain it's done the right way, um, it makes me proud to be part of this team Definitely. Here. It's a rewarding thing to be a part of building this rink and then letting the community enjoy it for the holiday season. It's something special. Well, I think one of the things uh, one day we need to do is put a camera up and put, uh, you know, just do the time lapse video because I think people yes. seeing that would be, they'd really be amazed by what it takes. And the city actually owns the skating rink. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. Yeah, we, we mm -hmm. discovered a couple of years ago it was actually cheaper for us to, to buy it one year instead of renting it. That's right. Every That's year. Right. So now we're in the ice skating rink business a few <laughs> <Yep>. weeks a year. <laughs> um, I do get requests, though, from time to time people want us to build an ice skating rink indoors. And I said, that's probably a bridge too far. But yeah. um, but right now, this is certainly a great event. And, and please thank our team members Absolutely. for everything they're doing. Yes. Ashley, um, if people wanted, they may not were able to get a tree up this year. I think you said 220? 220. That's a record, isn't yet. it? Yes, it is. Oh, that's so cool. Now, people are going to see this podcast or hear this podcast, um, but they've been touched like we all have by what you do every single day. How can they contribute and make a difference when we close out the year? Yeah, you can visit at any point in time, TuscaloosaOnePlace.org, and there are multiple ways to get involved or donate. We have holiday initiatives. We have other events throughout the year and general donations as well. So a lot of people this time of year are looking for uh, donations to make as the year-end mm -hmm. closes for tax or ta year-end tax mm -hmm. close. And so maybe uh, they should look at Tuscaloosa One Place Thank as a you. good investment. Uh, this is certainly a great event. Thank you to both of you for being here. Um, and this has been another edition of Tuscaloosa Talks.